Hi, I'm going to explain that basic international trade procedure with a flow chart how we process. International sale trade agreement are the between two or more countries both agree on the term of the trade by the companies or the personal shipments cargo commercially. Merchandise has been determined by the tariff and duties that countries impose on their import and export. I also needed to make sure that every one of them understood that a name of the trading between the seller and buyer which are agreed on the price what the value of the merchandise and service of contract. Let's take a look at the chart. How to send or receive the merchandise should be determined and whether included or excluded on the price the, from the seller to buyer that you can see that the first row at the flow chart between foreign seller and the US domestic buyer. And you can see that the wave line below the second row is the country border between foreign country and US. Seller at the foreign country requests to the foreign freight forwarder for the, the merchandise to ship out to the country. Inquire the freight cost, handling fees, estimated time of departures, and other cost. Uh, also, the service of the fees. When the seller agree with the freight forwarder who is going to book the steamship line with the AES automated export system connected to the uh, electronically exported country customs steam supply and also the FMC Federal Maritime Commissions. Once the book was confirmed, the seller on the freight forwarder will send ISF, that's which is for the ocean cargo only, and AMS, which is automated manifest system to the foreign buyer or the freight forwarder at the destination to the US buyer with the designated custom broker or US freight forwarder and third or the fourth time on the flow chart. Consequently, the cargo on the vessel is departing at the origin departure of the country. At the same time, US domestic buyer to find out the custom broker who represent clear custom behalf of you uh, when the, the cargo arrive if it's not designated yet. During the vessel transitions on the ocean, destination freight forwarder will receive the shipment's information prior arrive date from the steamship line that is called arrival notice. U.S. domestic buyer, custom broker will receive the arrival notice from U.S. freight forwarder and start to make an entry for clearing customs. At the time of the custom clearance, U.S. customs may hold cargo required examination or the partner government agency requests some additional documents possible other examinations. Once the cargo arrive at the fleet released at the ocean cargo terminal, U.S. domestic buyer designated carrier will arrange to pick up the delivery cargo to the delivery to the final destinations. This is just a basic international trade process and a transportation flow.